Hi, I'm Tomoya, Cloud Support Engineer in Amazon Web Services Japan. In this video, I want to present cross account catalog access using AWS Lake Formation. This is the agenda of my presentation. First, I will talk about use case of cross account catalog access using AWS Lake Formation. Second, I will explain how does cross account access work. After that, I will go to demo. About multi account data lake, many organizations use multi account setup for their Amazon S3 data lakes for a variety of reasons. For example, to limit blast radius in the case of a security issue, to manage budgets by organization unit, and to simplify administration overhead. However, this causes the data in these data lakes to be siloed and inaccessible to others. Using AWS lake formation, Amazon Athena can access cross account data lakes. Let's see what will happen when Amazon Athena query cross account data lakes using AWS Lake Formation. First, account A shares its data catalog with account B. After that, account B runs query against the shares table. Before access to Amazon S3 data lake, Amazon Athena gets temporal credential from AWS Lake Formation. Then, Amazon Athena access Amazon S3 data lake using temporal credential. I'm going to demo cross account catalog access using lake formation. First, no account A, create a sample table. Create database. Create table on this database. Remember that the table location is on Amazon Reviews PDS bucket. After that, load partitions using MSCK repair table. Then, confirm that we can run queries against this table. Now, configure lake formation settings. Going to lake formation console. First, register data lake location. Click Data Lake Locations tab and click Register Location. Here in the table definition, S3 location is in Amazon Reviews PDS bucket. So enter this location. Note that when account B queries table that will be shared, Amazon Athena will use this IAM role to access this bucket and click register location. After that, revoke permissions on the database on the table from IAM error principles. This is prerequisite of cross account access. Go to data permissions tab. Select permission of IAM our principles on lake formation 
Scroll second demo database. And click revoke. And click revoke. Also, select permission of IAM Arrow Principles on Amazon Labels Parquet table. Click revoke and click revoke. Now, let's share the table with account B. Go to the table tab and select the table. After that, click Action and click Grant. Select External Account, Input AWS ID of Account B. and check select and click grant. So far, table is shared with account B. Let's go to account B. Open resource access manager console. You can find that there is a resource share invitation. Click this and accept resource share. Now, group table is shared with account B. To query the table, we need to create resource link. Before creating resource link, create a database. After that, go to Lake Formation Console. and click Tables tab and find Amazon Labels Parquet table. This table is shared by account A. Click this table and click Action, create resource link. Enter resource link name and select database and click create. Go into a Cine console now we can run queries against this table. Thank you for watching my demo.